Many St. Louis commuters spend a lot of time waiting. Shelters like these are all over town, creating a second home of sorts for people like architect Sam Avery. You know, a lot of people spend a lot of time out in the cold waiting for their bus and their, the metro and anything you can do to help improve that experience I think is great. And what Sam has done to help that experience sits right over his shoulder. This painting is called Can't Stop, Won't Stop. One of 10 chosen to decorate transit stops around the bi-state. Heady stuff for a guy who, in the art world, is essentially a rookie. It's pretty remarkable. I honestly didn't expect to win anything. I've only been doing art for about a year, and it's pretty exciting. I, I was worried that it would, it would look kind of strange this large, but I think it turned out all right. The piece joins what is now a more than three decade old collection of works by Arts in Transit, Metro's effort to beautify bus and train stops. Jessica Fox is another artist who can appreciate an attempt to beautify a space. I used to ride public transportation all the time and I sat here before, you know, so it's awesome to have my piece sitting right here next to me. Oh, um, it's a conversation starter, you know, they look at different artworks and, and talk and get to know your fellow St. Louisans, um, brightens up the mood, you know, on a dreary day you got some color out there. Both artists found out about this year's contests through their parents who caught news clips and urged them to enter. And both called it an unexpected thrill when they got word their work would soon be all over town. Well, I was at work, I remember it, and I saw the evil and I was like, no way, that's awesome. It was, it was great, and, and it's such a great opportunity. I was at work and I got an email and it was just kind of a big jolt to my stomach, like, holy crap, you know, I just, <laughs> I just won. <laughs> So I had to, I just looked around and my boss was like, hey, look, you know, and he's like, I told you you'd win something. If you're looking for insights on the artwork, we went to the sources. Jessica's organized chaos might remind you of your daily life. The inspiration is we're surrounded by chaos, but there's a lot of repetition creating an underlying order to it. And Can't Stop, Won't Stop has everything to do with persistence inspired by a koi fish. This fish will swim upstream against all odds. It's even known to swim up waterfalls. I wanted to paint something that encouraged, uh, you know, resiliency to always bounce back and try your hardest. So an endless pattern of chaos and determined souls doing all they can to overcome the current. It sounds a little bit like the morning commute. It could represent the transit system. You know, all the energies swirling around and connecting to each other and, you know. And also, to keep things homegrown, to have local St. Louis artists decorate those areas and get more people involved in the arts within St. Louis, I think it could help.